For Thanksgiving, I decided to make a corn pudding, which is kind of a traditional dish for me to make at this time of year. I did use a little bit of a different recipe this time, so I'm going to go over it with you. Um, I took two, I guess they're probably 8x8 eight eight, um, aluminum pans and sprayed them with Pam or olive oil. And then um, I actually doubled this recipe because I'm going to be feeding several people. So I took two 15-ounce cans of whole kernel corn. Actually, I think I ended up using three, and you drain them. Or you can use one and a half cups of frozen corn that's been thawed out. And to that, I added two 17 ounce cans cream corn. But since I was doubling the recipe, I actually ended up using five instead of four. So I put those in a large bowl. And while this is going on, if I were gonna cook it today, which I did not, but I would have preheated the oven to 400. So I put both of the different corns, cream style and whole kernel, in a bowl. And while I was mixing that, I also melted in a glass bowl in the microwave two sticks of butter. <clears throat> Sorry, butter. The recipe calls for um, a half a cup melted butter for one recipe. Then it also calls for a half a cup of sugar for one recipe, one and a half teaspoons of seasoning salt, a teaspoon of dried minced onion, four tablespoons of cornstarch, five large eggs, a half a cup of milk. So those are all the ingredients. So in this separate bowl, I mixed my dry ingredients, which was the sugar, the cornstarch, the seasoning salt, and I use Lowry seasoning salt, the minced onion. It calls for a teaspoon of dry mustard, but I didn't have any, so I didn't worry about that. <clears throat> Once I mixed that up, then I added in my melted butter and stirred again really well. Then it calls for five eggs for one recipe. So I did 10 eggs, put them all in the container, mixed them all up really, really well. And then after all of that was mixed, I added in the milk. Once the milk was in there, everything was ready to pour into the pans. And then again, if I had cooked them today, um, I would have put them straight in the oven. I'll turn the oven on 400 tomorrow to preheat, and then I will put my pans in the oven for about an hour till it's just slightly brown or until it's all set. And depending on how your oven heats, it may take a little bit longer than an hour, may take a little less than an hour. But most of the time, it's at least an hour to get everything set and like i said this is always a big hit at thanksgiving we'll be going to rodney's sister's house tomorrow and celebrating with about 33 or 34 family members so it's going to be a busy holiday and we wish all of you a very blessed holiday whether you are with family or friends or if perhaps you're spending it alone be blessed, my friends.